Welcome to our lesson about animating components. Let's begin by activating Inventor Studio. On the Animate panel, let's click Animation Timeline. The floating window appears here. Let's expand it. You can see the current timeline. It's empty. Now again from the Animate tab, let's click Components. The Animate Components dialog window appears. First, we need to select a component. I'm going to select from the graphic area a cap. More than one component can be selected. If you want to unselect the second component, just press down the control key on your keyboard and then unselect it. Next, I need to specify the position. I'm going to grab by the red arrow on the triad and drag. And let's click OK to accept. Next, I'm going to specify the path. Let's use the smooth option. The other option is a sharp path. Next, we're going to specify the length in time of the animation. We're going to make it three seconds in duration. And let's click OK. Now we can preview our animation by dragging this control. To edit the animated component, just double click on the bar. And when you're finished making your changes in the Animate Components dialog window, just click OK. I'll actually cancel out for now. And let's collapse the Animation Timeline window. Now we're ready to record or render our animation. The Render Animation dialog window opens. You'll recognize these options from the Render Image dialog window of our previous lesson. I've just selected my output size. Now we specify the camera view, lighting style, tabletop is currently selected. Scene style, none is selected, and we're going to leave it at current background. And the render type, shaded or illustration. Let's go to the output tab now. Here we can specify the time range or render the entire animation. Let's make it three seconds in duration. We can render our animation in reverse by checking here. Anti-aliasing, the higher the setting, the higher the video quality but it'll add to your rendering time, so keep that in mind. When the Preview No Render option is checked, Inventor won't use the lighting style shadows and reflections. In other words, the rendered image will look just like what you see in the graphic area. If Launch Player is checked, we'll be able to preview our animation automatically right after it's rendered. Output Format, we can choose Video or Images. Frame Rate, let's use 10 per second. That's 10 frames per second. Lastly here, let's look at Video Formats. Click here to Save. Let's look at the Save as Type drop-down menu options. We can choose between WMV files, that's a Windows Media file, and if you select this, you'll be prompted to specify some advanced system options in a separate window. You can also choose the AVI file type. And if you choose an AVI video file, Inventor will prompt you to choose a video codec. Some codecs are included by default, and many more can be downloaded from the Internet. A codec is basically a little program that helps your computer interpret the video. Now some codecs have a very high compression ratio, giving you a small file size. Other codecs have got low compression ratios, and they give you a large file size and preserve the quality much better. If this is a video that you'll be using for your client, for example, she or he is going to need to have the same codec that you're using to be able to view the video, so make sure you provide that with the files. Let's work with the AVI file type and click Save. The last tab, Style, has the True Reflection checkbox. Let's uncheck it. And we're ready to render our video. Let's click Render. Inventor asks me about the compression type. Let's select Full Frames Uncompressed and click OK. The rendering process starts. You can see the total number of frames is going to be 31. The rendering process is actually going pretty fast. While it's ongoing, we see a preview of the animation. And here is the player where we can see the animation. Let's play it again. As you see, our cap slides across the table. 
Let's close the player and return to the rendering dialog window. Let's uncheck Preview No Render. And let's click the Save button again. I'd like to change the file name. I'm going to call it Video 2 and click Save. We unselected Preview No Render, so let's go ahead and click Render. Click OK to accept the video codec. This time, the rendering process is going to take a bit longer. So I'm actually going to pause my video to speed things up for you. OK, the rendering process is almost complete, and now it is complete. Inventor launches the player. Here we can see the animation. It's of significantly higher quality. And this concludes our lesson about animating components.